The next feature that I talk about that I think is important when you look at your shoes is where does a shoe bend? So if I'm going to test all these shoes and you'll see the difference. So if I look at this shoe, I want my shoe to bend where my toes are forming there. So if I take a step and I go to push off, that's where it should bend. So we have that one. Let's see what this one does. It bends in the right place. This one bends in the right place. Now I'm going to trick you. Watch where this one bends. Okay, so this shoe is bending more in the arch versus the toe box. What's nice about this shoe and people like is that it's really comfortable. It feels like you're walking on clouds, but there's not a lot of support. So you trade off the support for that cushiony feel, but it bends in the arch. Another component to look at in shoes is what are the materials that it's made out of. They can be made out of leather, man-made materials, mesh, nylon. Um, this running shoe happens to be made out of a lot of mesh. It's like a sock, so it's really comfortable. My foot can just spread out in the shoe, but once again, not a lot of stability. This shoe is made out of leather leather breeze so a lot of um, people will feel comfortable in leather because that leather is going to expand with them with heat and temperature changes it also will accommodate your foot if you have deformities in your foot this shoe is more of a man-made material so it's going to be stiffer and not as accommodating to a deformity and then the last part of the shoe that's important that you see in um, dress shoes and this shoe just happens to do it is you talk about being able to take out the insole of a shoe. So most of our athletic shoes will always have an insole that comes out like this. Um, it's important if you're going to be getting orthotics that you can take that, or, that insole out so that the orthotic will fit. Um, the other part of the shoe then is the outsole. So you have an insole and outsole, and the outsole can be made of leather, rubber, um, man-made materials, your running shoes might have treads on them. So we always look at the outsole of the shoe to see what kind of, if you're going to be working on a different surface, if you're working on marble floors all day or concrete, you might want something that has um, some cushion to it. The other thing um, I think is tricky with shoes that people don't really realize is that they may think, oh, this shoe is horrible. Let's show you this one. Look how high this shoe is. So you might think this is a horrible shoe for someone to wear. However, it has a nice wide heel, which gives more support than, well, actually, this one's pretty nice too, the wide. But what's nice about this shoe is it also has a heel counter and it has that square toe. So it's going to, I shouldn't say square, but it's more rounded than the pointed toe.